All right guys, welcome back to example program YouTube channel. And in this tutorial, we will see how we can write a C program to display the pattern that you guys are seeing on the screen, which is a right angle triangle pattern. And whenever we have a pattern to print, what we do is we divide that pattern in terms of rows and columns. So in this case, we can say that this is the first row, second row, third row, fourth row, and fifth row. Similarly, first column, second column, third column, fourth column, and fifth column. Now, if you look at this pattern, then the total number of rows present in this pattern is equal to five. And also the total number of columns present in this pattern is equal to five. Whenever we have to print a pattern, what we do is we print it line by line. So we go to the first line and we will print whatever the uh, characters that we have to print. Then we go to the next line, then we print the characters, then we go to the third line, we print the character and like that. So in the end, we will get the complete pattern. So if you look at this pattern, then there are two characters used. One is a space and another one is this star symbol. So in a particular line, there are different number of spaces and symbols. So here, instead of this star, you guys can uh, display any other character. You know, if you want, you can display numbers also. And also for the spaces, instead of spaces, if you want, you guys can uh, print any other character or you know any other symbol. Now here, what we have to do is we have to come up with a logic for calculating the number of spaces that we have to print for a particular row or a particular line and also the number of symbols that we have to print for a particular row or particular line. So here, uh, if you look at the first row, so let's have the row number and number of spaces and number of star. I'm going to say star here. You can display any character. So when the row number is one, the number of spaces is four here and number of stars displayed is one. In the second row, number of spaces is three star displayed is two in the third row number of spaces is two three three stars displayed in the fourth row one space is displayed and four star and in the fifth row zero spaces are displayed and uh, five stars are displayed so now what we have to do is we have to come up with the logic which will enable us to calculate the number of spaces and number of symbol or star Okay, now let us talk about the uh, logic for calculating the number of spaces. If you look at this, then we can say that the number of spaces that we have to print for a particular row is actually equal to total number of rows present in the pattern minus row number. So here, if you look at the first row, then the number of spaces that we have to print is equal to total number of rows, which is five in this case, minus row number, which is one, which is equal to four. So in the first row, we have to display four spaces. Similarly, if we apply this logic for the third row, again, the number of rows present in this pattern is equal to five minus row number, which is three, we get two spaces, which you guys can see here. So this logic will work for printing the number of spaces for a particular row, which is equal to total number of rows minus row number. Now let us look at the logic for printing the number of stars. Here, if you look at it, then we can say that the number of stars that we have to print for a particular row is actually equal to row number, which is nothing but in the first row, we have to print one star. In the second row, we have to print two star. In the third row, we have to print three star. Similarly, in the fifth row, we have to print five stars. So both of this logic will enable us to calculate the number of spaces that we have to print and also the number of stars that we have to print for a particular row or a particular line. So now what we can do is we can use this logic and we can try to construct the program. So here what I have done is I have created a simple C program where I have uh, included the stdio.h header file and then we have the main function. 
So in this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to ask the user to enter the number of rows for which the pattern has to be displayed. And to store that value, we need a variable. I'm going to take an integer type of variable. I'm going to say num rows, which will contain the number of rows present in this pattern. I'm going to initialize it with a value of zero. Then I'm going to use the printf function and I'm going to ask the user to enter the number of rows. Okay. Now after that, we can use this scanf function and we can read the value entered by the user. So it will be scanf function. Format specifier is %d because we are reading an integer value. And then we will uh, store the value in this numrows variable. Okay. Now we know for how many rows we have to display this pattern or how many lines are present in this pattern. We have to print multiple lines and also that multiple lines will depend on the user input. So we can use a for loop which will calculate the number of uh, rows to print depending on the user input. So in this for loop, I'm going to take a loop counter variable and I'm going to call it as uh, row number because this for loop is for uh, rows and every iteration will print a particular row or a particular line and the variable here will contain the row number that we are printing. We will say that the row number will start from one and then how many rows we want to display in this pattern. That value will be depending on the uh, value entered by the user, which we have stored in this num rows variable. So we have to form the condition here as, as long as this row num variable contains a value which is less than or equal to num rows variables value, we want to run this for loop. If the user says I want five rows, then this condition here will make sure that the for loop will run for five times. Okay. After that, with every iteration, we will increment the value of the row num variable. Now this for loop that we have here will provide us the number of rows or number of lines. So if I use a simple printer function in here and I'm going to say um, row number or line number, and then I'm going to display the value that we get for this uh, row num. Okay. Just to, you know, display the row numbers that we get. If I save this program and run this code, and if I enter, I want five rows, then you guys can see line number one, line number two, line number three, line number four, and line number five. So uh, what we have to do is after printing the contents of one line, we have to go to the next line for printing whatever that we have to print in the next line. So after printing the contents of the first line, what we do is we will insert a new line character and we can do that by using the printf function and printing the uh, slash n. So it will just insert a new line after printing the contents of a particular line. If I save this program and if I run this code, enter the number of rows, I'm going to say five. Now you guys can see every line will appear in a separate line, line number one, line number two, line number three, line number four and line number five. So now what we have to do is for a particular line, we have to calculate and print spaces, the number of spaces that we have to print. And also we have to calculate and print the star or any symbol that we want to print. So after printing these two, we will insert the new line so that the next line will appear in a separate line. Okay. So now we have to calculate the number of spaces that we have to print and we have to print them here in the pattern. We have seen that the number of spaces that we have to print for a particular line varies and we have to calculate that by using a logic. So we can use a for loop. And this for loop will allow us to calculate the number of spaces that we need and it will print those uh, spaces. So here I'm going to take a loop counter variable and I'm going to call it as space and we will initialize it with a value of one. And then uh, the loop condition will be how many spaces that we want for a particular row. So in this case, we know the logic that is the number of spaces that we have to print for a particular line is actually equal to total number of rows minus row number. So the condition that we have to write here will be 
as long as this space variable contains a value which is less than or equal to the number of spaces that we have to print which is nothing but total number of rows present in this pattern which is which is in this numbers variable minus row number which we have in this row num variable okay this will be the loop condition after that we will increment the value of the space variable and now what we can do is we can print the space so i'm going to use the printf function in here to print the space so it will be uh, a space and after that what i want to do is i want to insert another space the second space i'm adding here is for the separation and uh, if you add that then the pattern will look much better okay so this is it for the number of spaces that we need in this pattern now what we have to do we have to calculate the number of star or symbol that we have to print and we have to print them so again here the number of uh, stars that we have to print will uh, depend on some logic and also we have to display a different number of stars so again we can use a for loop and here i'm going to take a loop counter variable and i'm going to call it as symbol we will initialize it with a value of 1 and now the loop condition will determine how many stars that we have to print or how many symbols that we have to print for that particular line so again we know the logic that is the number of stars that we have to display for a particular line is actually equal to row number so the loop condition here will be as long as this symbol variable contains a value which is less than or equal to row number we want to uh, run this for loop that many times and we want to display the symbol with every iteration we will increment the value of this symbol variable okay now here we have to display the symbol so i'm going to use the printf function in here and uh, the symbol that we want to display will be star and after that we will insert a space here the second space that i'm adding here is for the same purpose which will be for the separation and the pattern will look much better with that okay after that what we can do is we can uh, save the program so now we have uh, written this program let's run this enter the number of rows i'm going to say five rows now you guys can see we have this pattern again i'm going to close it run it one more time and this time i'm going to say 10 you know we get this pattern now the next thing that you can do is you can make modifications to this pattern for example instead of displaying a space here if you want you can display any other character and also here instead of displaying star you can display the numbers for example here i'm gonna say i'm gonna display the row number uh, and then we're gonna run this program i'm gonna say five rows you guys can see we get the pattern like this and also if you want you can display the uh, value present in this symbol variable and whenever you are displaying a number in the pattern if the number takes two character space for example let us say for the number you know 10 two digits are required so two character space will be used for printing that number in that case you can specify uh, everything in that pattern to be displayed with two character space so you can use something like percentage 2d here okay that's for displaying the numbers and uh, if you do that then again for this space also you need to display that in two character space to make the pattern look uh, you know pretty so in this case what i have done is i have added another space to this uh, printf function which is displaying space so a space is displayed in two character space now and after that we have one other space for the separation okay now if i save this program if i run this code and if i enter 10 here now you guys can see this 10 requires two character space and all other digits require only one character space but still for them also two character space is used and that's why this pattern looks much better okay you know you can make all these modifications and uh, you know try out different patterns 
so this is it guys for this video thank you for watching if you like this video hit the like button if you don't like it hit the dislike button if you want to say something then write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next video